Hi guys, Jeff Clark, Sources Apprentice. You know, I make all these videos and I show you guys cool stuff that I bought and how much money I'm going to make from it, but today I want to show you a failure. So a few weeks ago, I went to a garage sale and I bought an antique TV for $40. Really cool. In fact, let me show it to you. Some of you might remember this from my video, 1949 Magnavox. Really, really cool, right? One of the very first TVs Magnavox produced. Check out these cool old knobs to even have as a channel one. That's pretty rare for old TVs. Pretty neat, right? Okay, so I bought this thinking that I was going to get 150, 200 bucks for it. But when I did a little more research, notice this aperture is kind of hand cut out. You see that? Well, this TV originally came with a 10 inch cathode ray tube, but this one for some reason has a 12 inch, which means that sometime maybe in the 50s, someone pulled the original CRT out and replaced it with this one and then cut the aperture to fit, making the TV pretty close to worthless. So uh, that was a bad buying decision, but I did find a guy not too far away from me who um, parts out TVs and works on them, and he's willing to buy this from me for $60. Now, I have to drive half an hour to meet him, so you hear what I'm saying? I've got a minimum hour's time to make 20 bucks. That's really not quite worth my time, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This is in a city that I don't go to very often. They have a Meyer, Walmart, Ross, TJ Maxx, so I'm going to do a little retail arbitrage, treat myself to a nice lunch, and make a good day out of it, okay? So why am I sharing all this with you? Because I want you to know that it's okay to fail. You're going to make bad buying decisions. I don't care how long you've been in this business. You will make bad buying decisions from time to time. And you have two choices. You can cry about it and beat yourself up at how stupid you are, or you can make the best of it and move on and make a better decision next time. So that's what I'm doing today. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think and tell me how you get over bad buying decisions.